I am speechless. <laughs> Nobody's talking, that means the food is good. <laughs> Hello everybody, today is October the 11th, it's Friday. So we went to, um, a friend of mine invited us for uh, a dinner. He cooked lamb and we totally in, uh, fall in love with the meat. So we decided to buy the lamb and the lamb that we got, we didn't get exactly the one that he bought it. So what we got is something like a little bit different. We got a lamb shack, uh, I think that's what it's called. I don't know why they call it lamb shack. But anyway, that's the meat that we bought. We got two of them here. And a, sh a shoulder, boneless shoulder. So I prefer the one that comes with uh, a shoulder uh, with a bone. But this one is a boneless. So let's see how it's gonna taste. So I'm gonna marinate it for 24 hours. So right now it's about 8.30. PM, I'm gonna marinate it, it's Friday night. I'm gonna leave it till tomorrow, probably until like six in the evening. And I'm gonna show you all how I'm gonna marinate it. And I'm gonna continue with this video tomorrow when I'm gonna cook it in the oven. I'm probably gonna be pre I'll probably prepare it with rice. Depends how I feel. I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow what we're gonna eat with. But now, what you need to marinate is all optional, okay, so I'm gonna use, this is what I'm gonna use, okay? I got a little cilantro, I'm gonna make my magic sauce, which is usually that I cook with most of my meat, okay? I got cilantro here. I got uh, one bar barbaroni. I got right here a half onion. I got about, as usually always, eyeball everything. <laughs> I got about 12 garlic, uh, gloves of garlic. I got a sea salt right here. I got white pepper here. And I got ginger and hawaji as usual that I like to cook with. And I skip this, uh, this, no, this, sorry, this is the black pepper, okay? The white black pepper. And this one is a salt garlic pepper which is gives a different flavor, especially when it comes to a meat. It tenderizes it somehow, I love it. But anyway, so let me show you guys how I make my sauce a little bit again. Okay, I'm gonna put the garlic here, put the onion, put the bell pepper in there, some soy sauce. So this sauce is not gonna go all of it in the meat it's just only this one is like i'm gonna be pre-making it and you get an italian dressing okay i put some lemon or oh, lime lime lemon juice just a little bit that's only for to make uh, to make my uh little tenderization for my meat for tomorrow i'll put olive oil just a little bit and I will shut it down here All right. so all right so what I do usually when I'm doing this hold on I never had enough space, so I'll put the cilantro in there now. So, put the cilantro in there. This sauce can stay probably, i say about a week. You can use it to marinate. Okay, so I just made my magic sauce that I'm gonna use to marinate it overnight. So usually what I do is I grab a little fork here, just poke it a couple places, okay? Just, I poke. So I want the marination to go in overnight, okay? You don't need to make, just poke a little bit. And this is gonna go in the oven for about four hours. Don't worry about the fat, I don't wanna cut all of it because 
this fat basically is gonna shield the meat to make sure that gives it an extra flavor okay so just poke a couple you know don't go crazy you know just make a little poke yeah I like just to poke a little bit but what I will do is I'm gonna put like the salt Let's let it sit marinate overnight. It's gonna taste good. And don't forget, I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put the little hawaji. Spread it. Don't be shy. Marination is not gonna kill you, okay? Make sure you have your hands nice and clean. So I said it's easy to make this kind of food. It's not that hard. Yeah, wrap it on. See that this see that that. Yeah. So we got the like that the garlic salt pepper. Yeah, wrap it on. It up go in the reason I made the the sauce here the sauce will give it a little extra basically keep it a nice and moisture so we got the black pepper a white black pepper okay I'm changing it around Yeah, like that. With the ginger. You don't have to wait overnight for 24 hours, but me, I like to marinate my food overnight. It comes out really, see, as, see, as you see, I did not use all the seasoning. I eyeball everything. So basically, you want to use all of it, go ahead. I like to put like direct olive oil. And then use my both hands. Just make sure. Yeah. Trust me, this, after you put a foil on, I gotta clean my hand. After I put the foil on. All right, let me clean my hand first. All right, so we got the magic sauce. I can't even open, all right. To use my hands too much oily. All right, I don't wanna do it too much, so I'm gonna use the spoon. Too much just put enough to give it don't forget this thing has fat so it that it, it, it is gonna create like basically more moisture and oil it's just you just wanna but just enough you have the garlic the lemon the soy sauce all that juice and the good stuff to settle in all right it smells good so far in. So I'm gonna leave this for 24 hours and I'm gonna show you all tomorrow when I'm getting it ready to put it in the oven. Probably we're gonna eat it with rice. So I didn't make up my mind yet. I'm gonna sleep on it and I'll let you guys show you guys tomorrow. Till then, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm back at it again. So it's been 24 hours since I marinated this meat. So, so smelling good already. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap it. And I'm gonna put it for 200 um, in the oven. 
I leave it for, for about four hours. And I'm gonna show you all how it tastes after. You're gonna wrap it very good. Make sure that the juice stays in it. All right, very tight. Grab the other one. And we're gonna eat it with uh, with rice, hopefully. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna wrap the other one. That one is pretty big, so I think I might need to cut that one in two because it's so big. Let me get my favorite knife. This is my favorite knife. Look at my cutting board. Right. I'll cut this one in half. So that way. Which way? This way. See? I'll finish the animation with it. So, cut it like this. from the marination, marination. Don't waste no meat, man, no meat. That's a lot of meat for a couple of days for us. All right. So, I can see, probably good. So I'll leave this for about <clears throat> two hours. I'll make sure this one doesn't leak either. I don't want it to leak. I don't want nothing to leak. Yeah. We'll leave it there for about four, four and a half hours. And I'm gonna show you all how it looks like later. Till then, see you later. Yeah, so, so I got here, see, I got 200 Fahrenheit, so we put it in the oven, and I'm going to show you all later how it comes out. See ya! The meat is inside the oven now, it's about two hours now so far, so we got about another two and a half hours to go, so I'm going to get it ready to prepare the rice and what we're gonna eat the meat with. So I got two cups of rice here that I'm gonna soak. Probably I'm gonna soak it one hour from remaining from the meat, okay? That's what I'm gonna soak it, I'm not gonna soak it now. So I need about 45 minutes to an hour to soak it. So I'm gonna get some onion, some potatoes, and some raisin that my son loves it. And whatever I'm gonna cook with the rice with, which is, I got the cardamom and I got the cloves and I got the cinnamon here that I'm gonna get ready to rumble with the rice later on. So I'm gonna prepare it and I'm gonna show you all later when I'm cooking this stuff a little bit, okay? Stay tuned. Yeah, kids don't do that at home, huh? I'm trying to cut this onion very thin so that way when I'm caramelizing the onion, it will be easier to do it. So you gotta be careful when you're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so that's the onion that I'm gonna fry later. That's gonna be going, gonna go on top of the rice. See, I always say cooking is not that hard. Just people are making it hard, cooking, all right? As well, I'm gonna use some potatoes. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut it like that. Make it a nice, like a fries. 
today is a, it's a holiday here. We got the Thanksgiving. Nobody's working, so time to treat ourselves. All right, I don't have the fries maker, so I have to do the old way. Yep, that's how you do it. Yeah, I'm gonna fry this too as well. And it's gonna go and top the rice. Today is a treat day. We treating each other. Yeah, I got the, the fries cut as thin as possible that I can. And I'm gonna put some garlic salt, okay? Just a little bit, don't overdo it. Just a little bit. If you wanna put a black pepper too as well, you can. Gives a little flavor. And it's a garlic salt, so it comes with the salt a little bit too. Yeah. Should have waited a little bit when it gets really hot, but it's all right. It's still gonna work. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna use the same oil to fry the onion and the potato at the same time. I, I won't do it at the same time. So I just gotta wait for the potato to get ready. Then I'm gonna put the onions, which is I already cut it as thin as possible. See that? So this will be next. Put this one on top of the rice later on when I put it in the oven, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, for now, so I need to boil this stuff here, I need to boil. So what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna put that in there. Well, what I need, actually I need about two cups of water. So I cook two cup of rice, and this is the cup that I use, okay? So I need about, say to be safe, I'm gonna boil about four cups. One. Two. So two cups of rice, you need about three cups of water, but I'm gonna be safe, so to be safe, I'm gonna boil four. All right, that's my four cup. I gotta make sure that I stir my onion. It's getting to smell good so far. So I'm gonna put this one, before I, I put this one, what I need to do, I'm gonna beat it up a little. Break it a little bit, so that way, when you're boiling, the flavor comes from the water, and then it's gonna go in the rice. All right. This video is not about showing you all how to cook the rice. This video is only to show you how that meat is gonna come out after marination of 24 hours, and how tasty it is. I'm gonna be telling you all. All right, my rice is frying. Let me stir it again. I can smell the garlic salt that I put in. Yeah. Today is we are treating ourselves. Nobody's coming, it's only us. This food is probably is gonna last us for the next two days. That potato is ready. Let's drain it. Put it in there. Don't forget, I'm gonna use the same oil to cook the, to fry the onion. So I want to make sure I get all the potato out. I'm going to be careful. 
careful too when you are straining this. You don't want that oil to be hitting the fire. So all the onions are out. I mean, all the fries are out. Now, time to put the onions now, and I'm gonna wait to to become a little brown. And I'm gonna show you all later. That's the color that I like. All right. Perfect. Done. So now it's the rice will be next. But I can't cook the rice now, as I, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm just gonna wait just probably an hour before the meat will be ready. That's when I'm gonna cook the rice because I like to eat my rice and the meat hot at the same time. All right. I'm back again. So almost we got about one hour left from the meat. I mean, what's about 45 minutes left from the meat? Almost an hour. So now time for me to cook the rice. So I'm gonna make it a quick uh, show you guys what I'm gonna be putting the rice with, okay? So I got, the, I got the hawaji here, and I got the garlic, and I got uh, the magic one, and a little bit of sea salt too as well, and the cilantro, and I got probably, I'll say maybe a teaspoon, maybe half a teaspoon of butter, okay? And I got one full onion that I'm gonna fry the rice with. So I already washed the rice, and nice and clean, two cup of rice, and I'm boiling the water on the side. Okay, let me show you all right over here. So let me get the onion. So it's already, I got about two, two tablespoons of uh, like a vegetable oil. about four cloves of garlic here. So I'm boiling the water. You always need to use a hot water, as usually you see in my other videos. I always boil this stuff here, the cardamom and uh, cloves and cinnamon, all that, on the side. Okay. So I put, yeah, right there. So I put the salt and the cube right here. Right here, put it in there. Get the cilantro. Okay. Uh, this 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 video is not all about making the rice. It's all about that meat. But I decided to show it at the same time. Okay. Always you gotta make sure. You heat not too hot because otherwise you're gonna burn on you. Alright. So I'm gonna add the butter. The hawaji. If you wanna use um, some people they do use uh, the goat meat water, but I'm using only plain water. It still is gonna taste good. All right, so that is enough frying. So time to get the rice out. So I'm gonna like fry it together a little bit. All right. Right there. Make sure you put all, all the rice in. Now I bring it back to heat again. I had a little bit, I put on number eight for a little bit. It's called fried rice, I guess. There's a reason that they call it fried rice. You fry it at the beginning. Mm -hmm. 
make sure that didn't stick at the bottom. Now I put, I will use the same cup, I will use the same cup that I used for the rice. I used two cups of rice of these, right? So I don't want that, all well, the cardamom to come with me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna strain it. Me, I don't mind putting it in there, but I find my boys, they complain. Daddy, you put this stuff. See, it's strained it. So for me, like I, I, like I can tell when the water is enough. Another trick I will show you all. Give me a second. See how you know if if you put a proper water. I mean, uh, appropriate water. You just want to cover the rice just enough. You want to able to see that water, uh, the rice a little bit. See that? I can see the rice. That's perfect enough. So I'm gonna wait, let it boil a little bit, and then I'm gonna cover it, and then I will uh, put the, the temperature down, right? See, I still have it high. I'm gonna wait until when it comes to a bubble, that's when I cover it, and then I will lower it down to two and a half to three level of the, the adjustment of the, the stove, okay? So I prepared my... I always like to use a foil, so it's coming to a boil right now. It doesn't take that long to cook, just right. It's becoming, see that, the bubbly? I'll turn it down to probably, I'll say, yeah, between two and a, two and a, uh, and a four, okay? And I'll cover it. That's how simple it is. So don't tell me, I need to show you all how to cook the rice again. So stay with me and I'm gonna show you the finished product on the table. I forgot to put the, the raisin. The steam is gonna cook the steam. The raisin, you don't need to cook it. You just need to put it on top of it. Just leave it and I'm gonna show you all later when it's done on the plate. Now is the magic time. It's about four hours and 20 minutes. This meat is being cooking. Juicy, foiled, wrapped, steamed within. So I hope it's gonna be done ready. So, all right. Every time we open up this oven, always something comes out. All right, this is the magic. So, so the magic. that it's cooked how you know if it's cooked I'll show you grab a little spoon knife it doesn't matter see how see that it's coming up see? see that it's cooked so what I'm gonna do is gonna get this one out I'm gonna put it let's put it in top of right here first of all for now close the oven I didn't want to spill the juice. Another thing you can do too as well, you can put it, you can open it, drain the, uh, the juice out of it, and then put it back and put it on broil for about five minutes. It gives it a little, like, you know, the crispy at the top, okay? Let's put it right there. If you finish all that meat, that looks good. All right, ready? So let's turn it off. Guys, it's ready. You see that? I'm gonna get my favorite spoon. All right, so let's get some rice. Some raisin. Wait a minute. Some potato. This guy lost a lot of raisin, my son. All right, so we'll get back to the rice later. Yeah, hold on a second, ready? All right, so we're gonna get to some salad. Move the gloves out of the way. 
Rapini, yeah, rapini, and some onion and tomato, and I put some black pepper, and salt, and a little olive oil. That's it for the whatever. And now it's done. This is the final product. See that? See this? You like it? All right. So I hope you all liked it. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscription button, hit the bell button, so that we can get notified when I upload a new video. Till then, as usually what I say. Yeah! You heard that right? <laughs> See that? It comes off, off like that. Look at that. See this? Mm. This is for Iliad. I made it, buddy. Tastes good.